Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about week 27. I'm so excited to almost be done the second trimester. This week baby is apparently 2 pounds and 14.6 inches which is like a foot and 2 in uh, two inches. Yeah. I feel I feel her feet and like head down here and she sometimes fully stretches out and oh I feel it. I feel it. She's the size of a head of cauliflower. I've mentioned before that she's very active um, and she has been the most active this week. Like, I don't think she's sleeping. <laughs> like, if I'm ever still for like five minutes, it's like jungle gym time. Like, it just, she's moving and like all over the place. Like, all over my womb, wherever she can go. I mean, I know that she's probably stretching out but it literally feels like she's doing like acrobats in my womb and like when she rolls over it feels so weird like last night I feel like she just took her foot and dragged it across my abdomen and I was like oh like I felt a little bit queasy because it was such a weird feeling um I know that it's good but it's just like it's really weird I'm gonna show you my bump. Not sure if it's much bigger than last week. Um, it's kind of getting to be very, it looks like I'm carrying really low, but I just have a really long torso. I do have some stretch marks going on here. Mm, sad day, but I'm over it because I'm making a beautiful little person in there. Oh wow, you can see my fingerprints. I'm super hot. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, and I have pregnancy clothing that runs a little bit on the bigger side, but that's because I'm not sure like how much weight I'm going to gain or how much more bigger I'm going to get. So I just get things a little bit on the bigger side. I want to hold her so bad. Um, I want to see her. Um, I'm gonna try and get a 3D ultrasound soon because she's supposed to have a little bit of chub now. Oh, the desire to just hold her and kiss her and snuggle her and just take care of her is like overwhelming. Like I'm not even sure I'm gonna hear her crying because I'm gonna be so like, like in a daze over just like how much I love her. Like I, I, I can't wait. Oh, I'm getting hot. It's getting hot up in Canada. I'm dying and I've been having a lot of hot flashes. So <sighs> I've been experiencing a lot of cramping, especially when I'm stressed or like doing a lot in a day. So I noticed it the most um, when you know, I've been at school for like a long day and my scrubs, the way that they kind of fit I have to fold them over and then tie them really tight so they don't fall down and that's actually uh, making my cramps worse because when I sit the drawstring is like super tight across my like lower abdomen and it just for some reason I feel cramps more often and the same thing for when I'm at clinical when I was at clinical this week like the cramps were incredible and I don't know if it was because um, you know, again, I'm probably not drinking as much as I should for how much I'm walking and running around. Um, so I still have to work on that. I still felt pretty terrible the next morning. I felt like I had spent all night drinking tequila in Vegas. Uh, but I recovered quickly. I was doing much better by like the late afternoon. But yeah, the cramps sometimes are a little bit worrisome. But I guess they're normal because I am entering the third trimester and she's going to grow really quickly now. I'm finding like hot baths really help with the cramps. So, um, and that's also a thing, you know, like if they, if it was like preterm labor cramps, they would just keep getting worse and I wouldn't be able to make them go away uh, as I change positions or like by having a hot bath. So that's why I'm kind of like... Not, not really freaking out because I think it's normal and I have no other symptoms. I've been sleeping like a queen. I sleep almost 
like completely through the night like I don't get up to go to the bathroom the only problem with that is uh, because I don't move or roll over in the middle of the night when I wake up in the morning I am so stiff like <laughs> getting out of bed I crack all my muscles or you don't crack muscles <laughs> bones I crack all my bones like it's it's really dramatic and it takes me a while to kind of like wake up because I have to like <laughs> still been uh in nesting mode and just organizing and getting lots of things done. I bought a couch this week for the new apartment. Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of running around. So if I'm not at school or clinical, I, I'm i just running around, organizing, or I'm cleaning. Like I've done, I've continued to clean and clean and clean. It's also been a very emotional week for me. I think I have cried like three times, which is like, not normal for me. I mean, um, I have been feeling a little more emotional, just like being in clinical alone, like seeing some of the like stuff the patients are going through. It like brings tears to my eyes. I'm just super compassionate, which is not a bad thing, um, <laughs> but usually I wouldn't like cry. I had a mini breakdown after clinical on Thursday because it was a very hectic day um, and very busy and there were uh, just some things that I was particularly stressed out about and so when one of the girls was driving us to the subway I just burst into tears and was crying and I was like oh my god like I don't I don't know these girls very well but now they've seen a lot of me like it was <laughs> it was good for bonding I also have been really anxious about giving birth I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before but this week I've actually like shed some tears over it um because I'm just like it's a new thing to me and I know that it's gonna be uncomfortable at first you know like when the contractions begin because they don't give you an epidural at least here until you're five, five centimeters dilated at least because you don't get admitted until you're five centimeters dilated so I'm just worried that like the contractions are gonna be really painful up until then I mean some people say that they're like they're not as bad as you think um, at that point but then I've also heard other people say like you know it was it was very painful and that scares me a little bit because I don't want to be in pain uh, and then continue to get into more pain and more pain until they finally do admit me and give me an epidural it's a pain that I don't know it's a very like unknown feeling to me and so that's what's scary because I am very panic attack prone uh, and pain is a huge trigger for that so I just hope that it doesn't hurt to the point where I start to hyperventilate because that is not a good thing I'm feeling okay about it in the moment so yeah we'll see I'm also getting a doula which is super exciting and hopefully I will get to meet one of them this coming week um, and that will make me feel a ton better when it comes to like my anxiety about the birthing process subscribe if you're new uh, leave a comment like my video if you enjoyed it check out some of my other videos I will um, leave some links here I don't know or maybe I have to put the subscribe button up first I don't know I'm new to this so <laughs> anyway yeah I will see you guys next time bye